Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Flamberge, and thank you for watching. Flamberge is, as it's described on its Steam page, guys, is a simultaneous turn-based tactics RPG. And what that basically boils down to, guys, is it's something to the effect of, like, Frozen Cortex, or, you know, for lack of comparison, kind of like other football games, but instead of a football, you're trying to brutally murder each other and stay alive at the same time, guys. You plan attacks and defensive maneuvers and the enemy does the same thing you need to anticipate them and then you hit the play button and you see who lives and who dies essentially guys it released on steam early access march 2015 which of course means that the game is still an active development guys and everything you see is subject to change and not a final representation of the game so expect bugs walkiness who the hell knows what could happen anything could happen guys Flamberge was developed and published by Hidezeek. You can go ahead and buy into the Flamberge Early Access on Steam for $9.99. And mark my words, when this game does finally release, I think it's going to be a big deal, guys, because there's a lot of neat ideas here. There's a really awesome pixel art. And this game has just so much room to grow and evolve into something that's really freaking neat and really freaking cool. So we're going to start off with the options, of course, guys. There really isn't much to speak of. The game is made with the Unity engine, so you have some things that you can kind of mess around with on startup. There's a little bit of rebindable keys there. You have that 1080p resolution support right now, full screen on or off. Other than that, there's a volume slider. That's about it as far as options go. That might change in the future. It might not. Who knows? It's not that graphically demanding of the game. It's pixel graphics it's you know what you're used to when it comes to the indie scene guys one thing i really do enjoy though is the music player right here which is, i think is really neat and the guy has basically has a lot of little neat soundtracks here for you to enjoy i thought that was kind of neat for them to put that in the game here uh and i like that a lot so we're gonna jump into the game the game does feature multiplayer uh, but it, it's kind of wonky right now. It doesn't work for me, and I can't find any other anybody else to play with right now. Uh, it's there. It's something that will hopefully be expanded upon, and we'll get to check out a little bit more. But I think you'll get the basic idea of the game as we get into the campaign here, guys. So I'm going to head into Martyr 2, and there's a reason I'm going to head into Martyr 2, because Martyr 1 here already pretty much completed all the content that there is in the game. So we're going to load into our game here. Now, this is just the world map. Now this Right now, this is just very, this is basically early access alpha, guys. So there isn't as much of a defined story. There really isn't as much defined, uh, you know, features yet. There's a lot that's still coming to this game. But this is just to give you a taste of what the combat is like, what the graphics are like, and in general, what to kind of expect from this type of RPG, guys. So I've kind of played a couple levels. I've actually gotten a little bit ahead of where the normal, I think there's the demo lets you go through like one or two levels, I'm not really sure. Because I wanted to show you some later stuff. So we're gonna head into Knockwood here. And we're gonna go in, and then we're gonna have a little battle scene here. Now there's a lot of elements here that, that can be kind of expanded upon, changed up obviously. You could bring in different kinds of party members. This could be, to be honest, the graphics remind me very much so of like a Fire Emblem-esque thing where you kind of, the characters are from the shoulder top and they're basically talking about the story. Wait, they beat us here? Uh, Aberine? Yeah, that, that is strange. I could have sworn they were behind us an hour ago. So are we going to fight them or what? You can see what I'm talking about when I mean that Fire Emblem-like art style. It's kind of like everything's done from the shoulder up. I dig that. I like that. It still adds a lot of personality to the character, even if you're not seeing their entire, you know, uh, avatar, as it were. Uh, so are we going to fight them or what? Seems reckless. Nonsense. It'll be fun. Well, aren't you the hero? I think we plan ahead. We can win here. Da 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 da. Okay, we can try. All right. So a couple things to know. First, look at these awesome pixel graphics, guys. I'd say the, uh, the pixel graphics are probably going to be a little bit more defined as we get a little bit more closer to launch, but I really enjoy the way the game's kind of designed and how everything already looks. These are our guys down here with the little blue shields, and these are the enemies up here uh, for us to fight. You also have some zoom buttons right here if you want to get like really detailed, really get in there. Yeah, this is Knockwood. I never noticed that before. That's cute. Aww. You can also zoom out really far if you want to just get a gr grand feel for the board itself. Uh, one thing I want to say is that while this board may not necessarily be the most accurate representation of pixel art, pixel art and how it's going to look, I still think it looks awesome. And if you check out Hyde Zeke's uh, Twitter page, you can actually see all the cool stuff and art he has planned for this game. I think it's really well done. I can't wait to see it 
in the game, guys. So, what are we supposed to do here? Well, we're supposed to basically kill all the enemies, all the dudes with the red shields. And we have several classes here that can do that. So we have Aberrain here, who is an archer and basically has two abilities. And right now, there is no tooltips right now. Hopefully, that's something that will change. Uh, from what I saw on the Twitter page, it's something that will be added. Will be Tooltips will be added to the character. Aberrain is an archer. She basically has a shoot command and a dodge command. And that's kind of actually kind of simplistically across most characters. They have an attack button. They have a dodge button. But each of those attacks and dodge buttons behave in different ways. Like, for instance, she shoots an arrow. Uh, Hamel here is a sword guy, so actually he needs to get a little bit more closer range uh, for him to hit people. Whereas our main character, Logan, here actually has like a charge attack. You'll see what I mean in a bit, guys. So let's go ahead and let's just start kicking some ass, taking some names. Now I'm going to move my characters, and you notice there's little dots right here, these little white dots. Well, that's basically kind of a, a representation of how far you can move a character before you have to, you know, wait before you run out of movement points, essentially. We can move them pretty much as much as we want or as little as we want. Uh, it's really all up to us to where we want to move them. So we're going to move um, him or her there. I'm going to assume Aberreen is a, is, a, is a chick. I don't know. Uh, now, there's several ways we can hit the enemy. There's three modes of firing, essentially. Uh, if we hit the Q button, it'll basically bring up manual, which basically increases our damage because we're literally aiming our shot precisely. We have auto, which basically means that we will not be doing any of the aiming at all. And basically, she's just going to move and shoot at whatever target is in within her range. But the damage is not as good. It's not as efficient. Again, this is all about anticipation, guys. And then we have adjusted, which basically means you're going to get a basic idea that the enemy is going to be in that area. But the character will correct for any kinds of mistakes, which is good because eventually the enemies are going to start moving at us. But because they're not aware of where we are right now. We're just going to do the manual fire, and then we're going to have him move up. Actually, you know what? Hold on. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. And he'll hit him. There we go. Actually, you know what? He probably, realistically, I just realized, can do a aim shot. Gosh dang it, if I could have him move up correctly. Okay. Here we go. He probably can do a, damn, a, a straight aim shot at the guy. And then he probably could do the exact same thing. We're going to zoom it out a little bit, give them a little bit more room to play around with. Now that we basically have all of our attacks kind of set up, we're basically going to hit the execute button or you can double tap space and then these characters will execute the actions that we have planned. The enemy isn't aware of our presence right now, by the way, which is why we're going to kind of take these guys out pretty much right away. Okay, so that basically ends the first turn and now you can see that the enemy is kind of well, more or less aware that we're here. They're kind of pissed off. They're like, hey, you killed Bob. Well, he's basically going to start trying to attack me, and he has the exact same, same kinds of attacks, same kinds of uh, defensive man, uh, maneuvers that he can take as well. But because I'm pretty sure he's just going to go to attack me, I'm going to activate Hamel's uh, defensive uh, 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 skill. Which, for Hamel, is not only does it actually defend him from uh, uh, being attacked once, it actually hurts the enemy when it hits them. In the meantime, I'm going to move up my archer. And I'm pretty sure... That Logan's pretty much good right there. So I'm, we're gonna, this guy's going to probably die. But just in case, I'm going to set up an attack here. Because he's going to bounce back from his defense. And we'll see what happens here. Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure he was dead. So he got to basically deflect from his attack and then he kind of just killed him. It's, one of, it's basically part of his defensive ability. His defensive ability is he basically defends the shot and disarms the enemy for one turn. Kind of like essentially almost like a stun. So you can see how they're going to be playing with different, different abilities and different powers that they can kind of mess around with here with, with these classes, guys. And that's one thing that I really think is neat about uh, Flamberge, guys. And I think that's what's kind of what's going to be good about Flamberge is this... this um, Way to just mess around with class ideas. I mean, imagine a mage with fireballs who's a little bit weaker but has a devastating area of effect damage, or, uh, you know, a ninja who can basically leap in and leap out of an attack. So there's lots of different ways for you to play with this type of gameplay, but have it always kind of be dynamic and always changing and be dangerous, essentially. So, as you can see, we just took out one guy and then hit the guy right behind him. Uh, now, he is going to attack him, so I'm actually going to disarm, and then I'm going to have him. Uh, I kind of want him to finish him. Uh, I'm going to predict that he's going to move there. Now, he's probably going to get shot by that archer, I just realized. There's not much I can really do about that. Uh, he's just in a bad position, but that's okay, because, you know, he still has quite a bit of hit points. He should be, more or less, 
Okay. What I, what's possible though is that he'll get the kill shot. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can just have him get the kill shot before this guy even hits. And then he could possibly defend himself from that arrow. We'll see what happens. So we're going to bring our arch up, of course. Okay, and we'll see what happens. Ah, crap. Okay, so pretty much as, expect, as expected as I... Kind of went as I expected, I should say. Uh, we got hit, but that's okay. Uh, there, by the way, if your characters do die, they don't die permanently. I think that's something that should be added to the game. I think if, if they're going to go... Excuse me, I just burped. Uh, they're gonna, they should go down that Fire Emblem route. I think that would be kind of a neat game mode that they should give you like a ton of characters. And if they die, uh, you lose them permanently. Uh, so we're going to have a move up here. By the way, guys, keep in mind that the game only has about eight levels in it currently, which isn't a terrible lot. So if you're looking for a lot of uh, gameplay, you might want to hold off till the game's complete, which should be in a couple months here. Oh no, he moved out of the way. What? No way. Okay, that's fine. We'll just have Averin dodge out of the way here. He'll move back. Nice dodge. Dead. That's what I expected, because he needs to stand still to shoot. All right, so we got these couple enemies up here left. We got four enemies left. Now we want to be tactical about this. Again, we want to try to take them out as uh, quickly as possible. So what we're going to have him do is we're going to have Aberdeen go here. We're going to have her shoot manually. We're going to have our... Ah, oh, crap, hold on. Let's see if we can have him move a little bit more quickly. There we go. Perfect. Actually, you know what? If he can move that quickly to that position, we could probably have him manual damage. I don't think he's going to be able to do much. No, so what he's going to do, actually... He's, we might lose Logan in this fight, I'm not going to lie. But that's okay, if Logan dies, it's fine just by me. Okay, so we're going to move there. And then execute, let's see what happens. Again, this game's all about anticipation. You never know exactly how things are going to turn out. That turned out just fine in that particular case. We're probably going to have to have them wait an extra turn. And the reason for that is, is we want everyone to get off of their cooldowns. Plus, the enemy shouldn't be made aware of my presence. Just yet. Okay, perfect. Okay, so she can shoot now. Uh, you know what? Let's have her move that way. She can shoot that guy. He's gonna come up in here and kill that guy. He's gonna come up in here and just hopefully kill whoever he runs into. That might put Logan in a little bit of danger, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but hopefully he can handle it. I think he can handle it. We might attract the attention of the current boss of the area. Let's see what happens. Dead. Oh, he missed. Oh, crap, he missed. <coughs> um. That guy's going to just start charging right away. Uh, crap. Okay. I don't know how this is going to turn out. This could turn out bad. Oh god! That just turned out horrible for us. Just absolutely horrible. Okay, Dokely. Oh god. Okay, okay. We're still doing good. He's moving closer to us? Seriously? What would possess him to do such a thing? I'm going to have him defend, just in case. Uh, he can't shoot because he has to wait a turn. Okay. I don't know what just happened there. I'm guessing Logan's stuck or something? Alright, we're going to have to kill this guy pretty quickly here. Uh, you know what? Have him go to it. Let's, let's have him move that way. We might lose um, our fighter, actually. I just realized. Oh boy, we got lucky there. Holy crap! Alright, now that archer's gonna take a pop shot at me. I'm gonna defend that shot, and then I'm gonna have him move up. Have him get there. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. He's gonna defend. He's going to probably make a straight line attack right at him. And then you could probably just shoot him in the face. Uh, we might actually win this with no losses. Holy crap! 
We won this with no losses. That's what I like to see, dang it. All right, so this is an RPG, guys. So this has RPG mechanics to it. As you can see that every character has a number of hit points, a number of damage, a number of defense, how many movement points they have, etc., etc. And there's also many ways that can be played with as well. There, you earn gold in the game, but there isn't necessarily a way you can spend it right now. But as you can imagine, if you could equip weapons to your party members, start equipping them with items that alter their stats or perhaps alter their attacks, maybe alter status effects, there's a lot of ways that this can be played upon. As you can imagine, guys, like I said, there's, it's, it's a simplistic game right now, but there's a lot of different ideas here that can really expand and be really freaking sweet uh, once, you know, the final release hits, and like I said. So we're going to do a couple more boards here. Well, hopefully we're going to do one more, and then we'll probably call the video. There is bosses in this game, by the way. I wanted to, I wanted to let that be known. Oh, man, this battle's tough. Um, just shoot in that general direction. Ram in that general direction, and uh, why don't you just go that way? So we got, we got to hit the most of them. He's probably going to get hit. Oh, he, they didn't they didn't hit him. I'm confused as to why they wouldn't hit him. But very well. He'll just defend himself. He'll just charge. There we go. Oh, he missed. Okay, okay. That's okay. Just dodge again, sir. Execute. Thank you. Wow, yeah. <laughs> That guy was brutally murdered just there. And if you once you get really good at the game, by the way, you start figuring out how to kind of plan attacks accordingly. Uh, it becomes really simplistic to just kind of start taking enemies out really quickly here. Uh, you know what? You can probably do a manual charge. There we go. Boom! Oh, oh! I did not mean to do that one bit. That was a mistake. Please change. Good. Fantastic. That could not have gone any better. Uh, Logan is currently in the way, so he'll just defend. This guy will move out and hit. And then he'll move there. There we go. That's what I was expecting. You can see how just kind of, kind of when you start planning things, you start playing the game really fast paced, it really becomes way easier to kind of, when you, once you figure out how you manipulate your characters, I should say, it becomes a pretty quick paced game, as it were. I need to move her over and we'll do an adjusted shot just in case. I think he's dead. Oh, we're not. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me with this? Are you kidding me right now? There we go. Thank you for not being a, an idiot swordsman, dude. There's different classes in the game right now. Like I said, there's, there's a couple right here. There's, there's archer, fighter, um, uh, swordsman, this lancer dude. There's this guy who's like called a champion who basically jumps. It's really neat. Oh, and I actually get to show you the boss fight right here, guys. This is the hilt. This is the boss fight of the game. This took me many, many tries to beat, by the way. Uh, and just enough, by the way, for technical technical aspects. There is no controller support right now. There is no steamy goodness. That's all stuff that might change in the future, guys. This is still early access, mind you. Dot 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 dot. Gregor, is that Gregor? It must be. He's massive. Should we talk to him? Da, 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 da. Hey, Brute, where's Lorana? Da, 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 da. All right, so this guy is one of the bosses in the game. He is ridiculously powerful. I actually did manage to beat him with my other game. Um, so we're going to have him move back, and then we're going to have him move forward, and we're going to have him deflect. And he's not going to be able to do much this round because he's going to start automatically charging towards my archer. Archer, just, just auto. If you can just land a shot... That would be spiffy. Deflected! Sent his ass flying. She did not land a shot. Um, hide? <laughs> just hide for now, I think? This guy can kill us just about in a shot, by the way. So we always kind of want to keep moving, to be honest with you. We're going to hope that he moves there. Oh, I missed. I totally missed. Oh, I missed twice. Okay. Crapola. Okay, we're gonna... Uh, I don't know what he's... He has two attacks he can do. He can throw his axe or he can charge with his axe. One of them is deflectible. The other one is not. Let's hope he does that one. Uh, he's not gonna be able to do much. He's not gonna be able to do much. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Let's... You know what? Can you move there and deflect? I don't know if that's going to be too slow. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Oh, God. We dodged, barely. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. He's probably gonna throw his axe right now, so we're gonna just move out of the way. Just move out of the way. And then you can hopefully fire an adjusted shot at him. Just keep moving, guys. Oh god, he's hit. Oh, we hit him back, though. Okay. He's hurting. He's hurting. Okay. Um, we're going to try to get close to him. We're going to hit him with this guy. You're going to dodge that way. Okay, he missed. There we go. He doesn't have his axe now. So he threw his axe now. We have the opportunity to kind of start wailing on him. He's going to immediately start charging for that axe. So we want to make sure we land all of our shots on him while he's making his move for that axe. Which apparently we did not do like at all, like at all. We just balls that up big time. Uh, you're gonna move that way. You're gonna move way. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I, I don't know if I'm gonna beat this boss in one try here. I'm gonna certainly hope I can, but I don't. That attack's not gonna hit him. Oh god. We hit him. Uh, yeah, we're okay. Okay, you're going to hopefully deflect that shot he's about to try to hit my friend with here. Matter of fact, you're going to move that way, kind of. And then... I don't really know what else we can do right now. He's going to fly backwards. Chances are, Logan hopefully won't die. Let's see what happens. Uh, why did you deflect that shot? Did I not hit the button? Gosh dang it, I did not hit the freaking button. That was so stupid of me. Okay. Well then, we're going to try that again. And... We'll see what happens. Wait. Uh, let's just go this way, you go that way. Okay. His attack's going to be towards this guy. We're going to have him deflect. We're going to have him attack. We're going to have him attack. And let's see what happens. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, we're they're dead. Oh my god. Um, we're in trouble. <laughs> just really, there's nothing much we can do other than just kind of wait at this point. Um, we can fire our bow at him. He's probably gonna just stand there and take it to the face. Okay. We're dead. Oh god. Dodge! Thank you. D Dodge again. Oh god! We're beaten. We got our butts kicked. Okay. Well, we can restart the battle, guys, and try again, but I think that gives you a pretty good example of what boss fights will be like. There's Some of them are going to be really crazy. There's, like, ones with cannons I saw that on his Twitter page again. There's all sorts of different kinds of boss fights that could happen here, guys. Who knows? That guy might even join you uh, in your party once you manage to defeat him, guys. But I just want to just give a quick rundown, guys. Like I said, they're going to have abilities. They're going to have traits that affect your character as they level up. You're going to have gold for items and weapons that you can purchase here. I mean, it does have that simultaneous, you know aspect to it but it's also an rpg guys so you're gonna have armors and weapons and enchantments and all that good kind of stuff different kinds of classes um i would really like i said to have that aspect of fire emblem where sometimes death can be permanent and you get you know really just destroyed when you lose a party member guys uh the pixel art is amazing check hide zeke's twitter guys to find out more about this game guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i just want to say big thanks to the developer for a chance to check out this title guys thank you for watching remember to subscribe and share guys and i'll keep bringing you awesome indie games guys if you really enjoyed this video maybe consider hitting up that tip jar if you're feeling generous of heart all tips go to improving the channel or future giveaways till next time guys play more indie games